Welcome to the other demonstration of high voltage fuse blown indicator into the Android mobile phone and also uh, alerting through audible alerts using the buzzer. So here we are going to identify the fuse blown whenever the supply is discontinued from the main source to the load then the fuse blown will be happened and whenever the heavy load is occurred so then that will be indicated through the buzzer as well as into our Android mobile phone and this system controlled with the help of PIC 16F72 microcontroller so here we are presenting the fuse blown indication with the help of this switch and here we are using optocoupler as a fuse in real time and whenever we isolated that the microcontroller will not get any signal from the fuse and that will be indicated to our system through the mobile phone uh, to the mobile phone and to the buzzer and coming to the flow of power so we are going to provide the 230 volts inputs and uh, to this transformer so here the transformer will step down the 230 volts ac to 12 volts ac and that is input to this regulated power supply board on this board there will be four diodes will act as bridge rectifier and after that we will know that we will get 12 volts pulsating dc to remove the pulses we need a capacitor so we are using 1000 microfarad capacitor so after that we will get pure 12 volts dc and after this regulator we will get pure 5 volts dc power supply as we are using 7805 regulator so before this the 12 volts is uh, given to the fuse indication and here we are using PC817 optocoupler IC as a fuse and we are isolating that by using this switch and when we provide the 5 volts power supply to this peak microcontroller it start reading input from the input module and controlling the output modules so coming to this motherboard there will be a reset switch to restart the microcontroller and this steel plated one is a crystal oscillator so which will provide us 20 megahertz crystal oscillating frequency so here the main purpose of the crystal oscillator is uh, we need uh, we provided the, some instructions inside the microcontrollers so what are the instructions reading fuse indication and sending alerts and switch on the buzzer along with led so these instructions should be executed whenever the microcontroller get clock pulse nothing but one clock pulse one instruction line so like that the microcontroller will execute 20 mega instructions in one second as we are providing 20 mega pulses in one second with the help of this crystal oscillator and this red led is a power led indication of the motherboard and green led is a programmability as well as whenever the fuse blown is detected then the system will switch on the buzzer and the led and coming to this sc05 bluetooth module and this is the buzzer board so we can see one transistor so as a microcontroller can't drive the buzzer directly as it's required heavy current so that can't be driven by the microcontroller that's why we are using a transistor as a switch as we know that the transistor basic operational switch so here the transistor number is BC547 so before switching on this kit install application there is a blue term so this is a blue terminal so from the play store and after that open bluetooth application bluetooth settings and now switch on the kit right initially the slide and buzzer on and off two times as indicated the system got started and now search for a device and look for the hc05 and initially it lost for the password this is only initial setup in any new phone means any new application uh, execution phone and now open the blue term application and scan so there search for hc05 here so here no need of ask any you know it won't ask any uh, password and right right okay so now you can see the device is corrected here right so now we can restart it it will send us the project name as high voltage fuse blown indicator right okay and now whenever the fuse blown is detected then the circuit will be isolated at the same time we will get audible alerts along with LED indication and in your phone also you are continuously receiving the data of alert fuse blown right and in order to stop this if you close the fuse also mm -hmm. but it continuously beeps then we need to restart the system again it will Come for the starting onwards. Right. Thank you.